Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Hey, welcome back, Coastal Living. We've got Jeremy in the house representing NAACP. We've got some things around the corner like Martin Luther King Day sure. and the 52nd Annual Freedom Fund Gala. Yeah. Tell us what the importance of the Freedom Fund Gala is. Yep, yeah, so there's two things, but the most important is that the community gets involved and we uh, learn about Martin Luther King Jr., some of the right. civil rights that he did, which a lot of us know about, but also what happens locally in the community. So throughout the nation and the world are able to recognize uh, local leadership who've contributed or are active in civil rights in the community. That's right, and Dr. King's dad was a part of that uh, committee and he did the junior committee actually. The mm -hmm. junior committee was sure. something really cool in New York. And uh, what are the programs in place uh, from the gala. We, we want to know about that and how we can get involved in our community. Yeah, so it's going to be different this year. Um, uh, I took over office in March of this past uh, year. Thanks, appreciate it. Uh, one of the things we're going to do different is we're going to hand out about $15,000 uh, in scholarships uh, to our local community here. Um, wow. So that's one of the things that come out from the gala. And also we have programming for a read first for our, our students here in the elementary school level. This year I'm specifically targeting fifth grade. I think that's a crucial level. So we have books so. that we're going to give away um, as well. That's awesome. And, and on Monday is Martin Luther King Day. Yes. Uh, we were having a conversation. You were talking about there was going to be a march. Where would we be meeting up and um, what's going to be going down that right. day? Right. So there are several organizations that are coordinating this. But for everyone to know, it will be held um, at the Nueces County Courthouse. That's where the march starts. Um, there's a program in place. And then from there, we march all the way down to the Church of the Good Shepherd. Uh, it's always nice to have God there. And, and yeah. let me ask you a question. What inspired you to take the place that you're in right now? Yeah, uh, some events occurred back in 15 and 16. So I ran in 16 and lost. And then in 2019, there was a discrimination kind of civil rights issue that uh, came up that affected me personally and some other individuals. And I just felt um, I needed to jump in there. We needed some, some new energy, some good positive change that can help our community um, uh, just kind of move forward. And my That's experience really, really just said I need to do it yeah well just talking with you I know you have a great impact here in our community and I, I want to encourage everyone to get involved uh, I know sure. we're dealing with some distance issues here with all the corona stuff going mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. uh, do you have any provisions y'all will be taking uh, as far as for the, the gala. gala and then the march as well right so I can't speak for the march but for the gala at the American Bank Center um, we are still encouraging everyone to attend it's this Saturday of course at 6 p.m. but uh, mm -hmm. to wear your mask if you would please do that and we are working on spacing and making sure everyone is uh, safe at the event um, yeah it, it's an important thing because we've we've been hearing a lot it's a big spike around the the area sure. and we've been taking precautions as you can see we're outside here on our set right. and we're hoping for good weather because we've seen a lot of ominous weather so I'm <laughs> hoping for sunshine especially on Monday what a great day to uh, represent Martin Luther King and and I think that it's important for us to strive in 2022 to have the strongest equality we've ever seen sure and it means a lot to me and I know that you're going to continue to do great absolutely. things in your spot absolutely and uh, it's been amazing having you Jeremy Thanks, I, appreciate I, I'll it. shake your hand here yeah, yeah. and uh, you guys stay tuned and don't turn that dial because we have more fun stuff here on coastal living even we have an ominous sky we're gonna bring smiles and positivity to you stay tuned